welcome to FOH this week. Kenny, we are doing the Partigas Presidente UBM June 19. Now, I don't think you're going to like this cigar at all. Why? It's not your type of cigar. In what sense? Well, it requires, it requires um, no prejudice, I suppose, in that I, I think it would be too... Two plain I think it's one of my absolute favourite uh, producers. And it does so, feel brilliant in the hand, doesn't it? I, I, yeah. I love the president. I don't like the, way the looks of it. And I reckon it's come a long way in the last five years. Yeah, Four it years. sort of looks like um, we'll put the trainees onto this one and they didn't quite get it right. But um, well, Why I'm would you say that? Why would that's you what say it looks that? like to me. How? Why? What's the flaw? I didn't say there's a flaw. I just, it just doesn't quite look as though they got it right. But um, I have no prejudices as to the actual smoking of it. I, as a part of it, I would expect this to smoke well. I'll mm, be very yep. disappointed if it doesn't. Aroma of Coles Mellow. I'm not sure Mellow's a smell, but uh, yeah, okay. Less criticism, more input. What do you reckon? Uh, uh, listen, <laughs> you're 40 minutes late again. Um, <laughs> input on the cigar, not my timeliness. Just <laughs> my drawer is just a touch tight, which surprises me. I wouldn't have picked it. I'll open up a little bit more. Mine's pretty mm. tight as well. Mine's perfect. Just open up a little bit more, Kenny. <laughs> I've gone to about that level there. Perfect. Well, I'm anticipating it to open up fairly quickly once you start smoking it because it'll move to the fatter area, the larger part of the ring gauge for the professionals amongst us. You're on the ball today, aren't you? Really? That's why you get paid the big dollars. Is those sort of insights, Ken, that people really come to <laughs> OH videos to hit in? All right. You're going to take the bed today, really? Seriously? Now, now the big part that... The world wants to see you light this cigar. Let's go. <laughs> the world's often disappointed, isn't it? Well, has been of late. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, this is where the magic happens. Here we go, people. Are you sure I can <laughs> feel good? At is it matches? He's got the matches. We can't see, Ken. You are, she'll drop it on his pants. Well, come on, Ken, eventually you've got to get you there. No, no. <laughs> we'll come back to you at the end of the first third. First third, Kenny, There's of the Presidente. Um, the reason it, the burn started off very, very wonky, but it's come back pretty. It doesn't look quite so so good on the Beautiful. on the screen, but it's actually burn better in real life, as you like. But I'm getting mint. Mint, and that's I am. I do not associate mint with partigas. I haven't. I can't. I can. I think I can see where you're coming from, but that just might be a suggestion. I get um. It, it, I get a little bit of leather to the Partigas Presidente. A little bit of yeah. young leather, not old leather, young leather to it. Yeah, yeah. That there, there is a. Um, it, it's it's I get it, there's a woodiness there at the same time. It, it's it's, but it's not cedar. A yeah, little bit of. Yeah, a little bit of coffee powder, like not great rich coffee, just coffee powder, just a bit of Nescafe. So, yeah, there's a little bit of almost coffee grinds. Exactly um, right, but not deep rich coffee, yeah? No, no. Um, and almost a light dusting of that sort of um, cacao powder. Um, yeah, yeah. Just under mid body, very, very pleasant. Mine's a bit more than that. Mine's sort of at least medium, I'd have it. Yeah, 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 mid body, just under mid body, yeah, medium. But it's pleasant. It's better than pleasant. It's good. 
Oh, they, these don't... have been these have been really really good this last three years. And, and look, don't get me wrong. If you're going to used to get a good box, they're, they're always good. But there's a lot of crappy boxes around. The last two years, I haven't seen too many crappy boxes at all. No, I mean, I've, it's a while since I've had one of these. Um, and I've never, I was surprised when you said you didn't think I'd enjoy it because I've never had a problem with these that I recall. Um, they've never been sort of high on, if I'm going party, I guess I'm thinking D4, I'm thinking Lucy, um, yeah, 898s, eight, eight, et cetera. Um, the these thing with these, I've, I always, so this, I don't normally associate one drink with one cigar. With this cigar, the Partagas Presidente, I always drink rum. I always drink rum with it. It just brings it out perfectly. So what rum are you drinking? Well, I've got a little um, Santiago 11 in no, there, which I'm going to bring rum. out in a sec. Yeah. So but if you get a chance, what are you drinking? Um, not, not your ginger beer. No, no, no. I've got some of that. I've got to discuss that, apparently. No, no, we don't have to discuss it, really. I've been asked. What's that? Uh, this, is, this is the uh, Monkey 47, but it's not the standard. This is the um, experimental one they do, the barrel cut from Mal a little bit, I'll try that again. Mulberry barrels. They make about 500 bottles. Um, Good. Oh, fantastic. Um, Monkey 47 is fantastic. The interesting thing, I was talking to my editor in, um, she's over in Switzerland and she was in Germany, which is where it's from, and she went looking for some of these. And here, the standard is 90 bucks and the slow gin and the mulberry cut are both 100. In Germany, she was saying when she tried to buy them, the normal is 35 euros. The um, mulberry cut was about um, 100 euros. Uh, there's a, here, there's almost no difference. That's a good little arbitrage market there. Hey? Indeed. Yeah. Done. We'll be back with you at the end of the second third. Kenny, second, third. Um, the mints drop down, but still a hint of that sort of mentholy um, character. Uh, it's burning quite well. Uh, it's dropped back in intensity for me. So you mentioned under medium before. Um, mine's come back to that. Uh, it's a thoroughly pleasant, a little bit rustic, a little bit rough and ready sort of thing. It's not, you're not sitting here thinking you're smoking something wonderfully refined which is okay, that's fine. Um, but I'm quite enjoying it. Mine's gone up to medium. But you're right, it's, it's, there's a touch of rusticness to it. There's a touch of charm. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. A, there's, there's yeah. a real little Absolutely. charm to these Presidentes. L and I think everyone fun. should have a couple of, half a dozen Presidentes at least in their humidor. There's a beautiful little charm. And I love the feel of them in the hand. You know, and, and after weeks of smoking like 50, 56, 58 gauge, gargantuan cigarettes. Isn't it lovely to, to, to have a, a figurado that just is so comfortable? Well, I mean, you left me some uh, Corona Gorda for uh, confessions, and I did the um, uh, Siglo 4 the other day. I mean, I think it was the best Siglo 4 I've seen. It was just beautiful, and it was perfect size. I love the size. I like Robustos. Um, a little bit fatter, but but not too fat. They're fine. They're good. I thoroughly enjoyed those. Yeah, I love the food. Um, I like, like, those Sigley 4s are just kicking it out of the park at the moment. They're just smoking so well. It was um, fantastic. brilliant. Um, well, you were going to say something before, Ken, in terms of... Oh, the new section, the new segment, the trivia questions. Okay. Rob will provide a truckload of cigars to the winner of this, of course, um, or possibly not. Um, this is sort of like your word of the week. It was interesting. Rob discovered that his forum has a word of the week competition. And really uh, well. I, I read it every day. You Wait. haven't read it once. Trivia questions. No cheating. I'm going to try and think of two, two trivia questions for each uh, video. It's just something I was sitting there the other day thinking, oh, that's a bit weird and wonderful. Try okay. The first is, which film starred both Vin Diesel and Tom Hanks. That's our, that's our question for the week. That's the first. The second is, when he was young, John Wayne was influenced by a famous American. Who was that, that he met? 
Who was that American? That's John, John, Wayne. Wayne, John Wayne, the actor. He was influenced and he took a lot of the, the roles he played, he based on this guy and, and the character that he provided. There you go, people. There's two questions. Post them on this thread. Whoever no, answers no, no Googling. No Googling. No, yeah, that's no, going to happen. No Googling. Yeah, well, it's, you can Google if you want, but there's not much point, really. I mean, there's three no's. There's no Googling. There's no cheating. There's no prizes. But please. <laughs> the prize yeah. of self-satisfaction. And what oh. could be more valuable in these times of isolation? And, and during these times of isolation, Ken has mastered self-satisfaction. Well done. We'll be back with you at the... <laughs> At the end of the last Phrasing, session. please. Phrasing. As Sterling Archer would say, phrasing. Let's wrap this up, Kenny. Been a good cigar for the afternoon. I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's, it's taking along nicely. It's getting, it's getting some of that young character come through now. A little bit of heat, but... Muddled. It's muddled in this last little bit. It, there's, there's not too many discernible flavours. It's muddled. It's a little bit of a dirty tobacco taste. Um, that's a bit of the young, young cigar. It, does, it certainly improves a bit of time. I, I'm a fan of the President. I really am. I, mean, I, I think they're, they're inexpensive. They're good. They work. They're old school Cuban yeah. cigars. In a lot of ways. A nice, pleasant cigar. I can imagine, I don't know how long they've been around, but I can imagine 20 or 30 years the blend was probably richer and more powerful. I suspect that they've toned it down. That's just purely a guess. Um, well, it, well, like a lot of cigars, you don't need to put them down for five years any longer to be, make them smokable. You can, yeah. you can smoke them young. But you could Again, put this, this for five. Again, June 19. Yeah. Put this for five, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. No now, problem are we doing this other one as well? Because honestly, I'm just a bit worried. This thing, really? It's not as long as my finger. I will. I have I will certainly do that. Stuff coming we'll up my nose. We'll do that, longer we'll than do this. that after this one here, and I think you'll be blown away. I might be, but seriously, if I sneezed, I can get longer things than this. <laughs> can, can, that's not where we want to finish this review, but we will finish now, hang this on. review. Also, our friend, our friend who asked about it, the ginger beer. Very, I'll do oh. this very quickly, and Steve, he's asked that this not end up on the cutting room floor. Um, you got very, 30 seconds. Okay. Basically, I was given a, a ginger beer making thing by the family ages ago, and I finally got around to using it. Um, you basically need a great big thing like this. Um, you get a saucepan, you put in whatever the quantity of sugar is. Um, they, they can give you um, ginger beer or ginger um, packages that go in, but I just what I do is go to the garden, get some ginger, chop it all up as finely as I can, put it in as well, and then I... When, it, when that's all, all the sugar's dissolved and, um, and the, um, the stuff's cooked, uh, take the ginger out and you can use it to cook and so forth later on. Um, you put that bit of liquid in your pot, your big pot. Um, you fill it with water. You whack that in the top of it. I presume you can buy those fairly cheaply. Um, and for the next week, it'll just bubble away happily. Once it stops bubbling, you then put it in your various bottles with a little bit more sugar to give it a bit more of a... But it, all mine have come out completely dry. Uh, they're not sweet at all. And that's it. It's really simple. End of, end of session. Ginger beer, folks. Get into it. It's excellent. Kenny, what are you going to rate this cigar? 89. Does Dead set 89. Solid 89. With a yeah. little bit of upside to come. Yeah? Oh, a little I'm bit upside to come. Five years, eight years. A um, couple of years. Good. Excellent, Kenny. We'll do the uh, Partagas Serie D five or six shortly. All right. Shortly. Have a great week. See you soon. Bye bye.